Okay, we are going to start with day number one, which is right over here. So I like to use my little craft knife to kind of help out some of these. You don't have to use them. But I just find that to help get it started, it's nice. So this one, you can see, let me turn this this way. You can see where it set, it has a little balloon that says hello. So this is probably a die or a stamp. Okay, we have, it looks like a die cut. And what I like about this is that it says one here, it says one there. Let me move this off to the side and let's see what this one is gonna look like. And another thing is this is kind of your map of how you're gonna put it together. Okay, so that's another great thing. All right, so it looks like we have the basket. And then we have the little um, ropes or twines. We have a balloon. And then we have, let's see. Well, we have a banner. The banner goes across the balloon like that. And then actually this piece here, okay, you could use it to make you, you have like different colors for your balloons. You could have a back piece that's one color and then you could do this one here is going to be for both sides of our balloon. So over here and over here. All right. We have a banner that goes across there. All right, so up at the top, looks like we have a flag, and then we have an insert to the flag. We have a ribbon and bow. These go in the middle of our little banner there. And then we have a little hello die. That will be so fun. All right, let's go ahead and make a little tiny um, little greeting card, something about the size that you could put with a little gift bag or maybe with a cup of coffee or a little plant, just something that would brighten someone's day. And we're gonna be using the um, balloon die from day one. So I've already pulled my paper here and we're going to use be using white we're going to be using like a sky blue and a red and i've got a pink a little bit of pink coming in and then we've got some brown and then i've got some really thin wood grain paper so let's go ahead and start getting this all die cut out so the first thing that I want to do is to get this stuff ready. I am going to place this white cardstock and then this brown wood grain paper on top of it because this paper is so so thin. I'm going to be taping it on there anyway. I mean, not taping. I will be gluing the white layer underneath the brown layer anyway. So. I'm just going to put that there. That'll cut out both of those at the same time. So that'll be good. We're going to do this brown. This will be the strings of our balloon. And again, just a little tape to hold it in place. We will place the banner and there we go. The banner and the hello. We will place those kind of together as well. I'm going to go ahead and run these through my spellbinders here. 
my brand new platinum scalp. This was my birthday present, so I'm so excited. And I'm using the Magic Mat as my cutting plate. I'm using a, the Spellbinders cutting plate as the top. I've got the base and the platform top as well. Now I'm going to put all of these little die pieces here. Um, I'm going to be putting them here on this little tray because I do not want to lose them. Some of them are very delicate. Now we're going to do our next round. We're going to cut the balloon itself. We need some pink. So on this one, we're going to have all of the elements for the bow and the little flag that goes on top there. And I just like to do this so that I know my pieces aren't going to slide around in case I bump it or, you know, something like that. We've got our balloon. All right, this piece is going to need to be run again, but I don't need to run these. Okay, now we need to grab these guys off of here. And then finally, we are going to need one of the oval and two of these that look like a half moon. So we are all done die cutting. Now we can start putting our card together. We've got our balloon and we are going to use a little bit of liquid glue. I'm just going to put some right down here in this center. And then with this going the right way, we'll just pop that right down there all right and then just need to make sure that these are sitting on the right sides okay so we will pop this one on this side right of it okay and we're going to do the same to the other side that looks pretty good Okay, I'm just going to let that hang out under that glass flock there. The next thing is I do need to glue down the wood grain to the front of this basket here. Let this dry, hang out for a minute. We're going to put these little bow pieces together. Okay, there's one. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. All right, then we're going to need a little dot of glue here, a little dot of glue here, and then we have the tiny little dot in the middle. Just perfect. See how delicate that is? That is super delicate. So I'm just going to let it hang out on this little acrylic block until we're ready for it. I am going to turn over the basket and we are going to put the basket onto the strings. Okay, just like so. I'm going to let that sit for a second. Then we're going to do thin line of glue along the top and just right here. All right, then I'm going to place this down. Perfect. That, that was perfect sizing right there. Now we're going to put this flag at the top. Not right there. That looks good. 
And next, we're going to put the hello and the banner across the front there. So we just need a dot of glue on each one of these little flags, just like this. There we go. Okay, so it's going to look just like that. And we're going to put the hello up the top, about right there. So it's kind of hanging over each of the sides. So kind of like that. Okay, so for the bow, we are going to put a little bit of glue all on the back. And then this is going in the middle, right across that little banner, right there. That looks fantastic. We need to get our card panel. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut our little panel and our card base. See, I want the card panel to be a three by three. Okay, so we are gonna do a three and a half. And then let's do by seven. Um, and actually let's do seven and one eight. The next thing, is I want to score this in half. Okay, good to go. And this should be perfect. Look at that. Excellent. So there we have our card base, we have our panel. Okay, so this will be our card base. And then I don't, uh, I don't have a stamp yet. I do have some print and cut stickers that work just as well. Okay, so there we go. Got our card base ready. Okay, the next thing is I have some tumbled glass distressed oxide. And what I want to do is I want to take this this is a very light blue piece of cardstock so it's you know it's not white but i want to ink blend over it and make it you know look a little like clouds so it's okay for it to be a little splotchy and i'm just gonna swirl this around and if it's splotchy, that's perfect because, you know, clouds. All right. And it might be a little hard for you to tell on camera, but there's like some places that are a little more dark than the others. And that's perfect. And I'll just darken those a little bit more. Okay. So here is our here is our sky of clouds. There we go. Okay, and we'll set that off to the side. So let's bring in this. Now we should have a balloon that is nice and dry. There we go. Perfect. This is so fun and it's so dainty. I love it. Okay, the other thing that I want to do before we do anything else, that way it has time to dry, is I want to go over the bow with my shimmer pen. And what this does is it just kind of gives it sparkle, you know. We always have to have something sparkly. And I know you can't see very well right now on camera. It'll be really sparkly here at the end. I'll show you what it looks like. And I think I'll go ahead and put some sparkle on just the flag. Perfect, I think that's gonna look fantastic. 
Okay, so I'm going to let that just hang out over there on the block. We're going to put this panel on top of here. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to grab some foam tape. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on. There we go. Gonna get that right in the middle. The last piece is putting some foam squares on the back of our little balloon. I'm gonna cut some of these in half, and I think I'm gonna do one of them as a quarter. Actually, I really like the loft of this, but these are black and I don't want them to, I want them to be white. So we will just have to improvise. I'm gonna cut some foam tape and get the foam tape the way it needs to be. So I'm gonna bring this in and I'm putting it, you know, I'm just kind of lining it up around my glass mat. I'm going to grab my tweezers and I am going to use some liquid glue because it does give us some float time and we don't need a whole lot. Okay. Awesome. That looks fantastic all right so this is our day one little card from the 2024 spellbinders crafty advent calendar how cute this would be great to just stick a little note or a little gift card in here or some cash but that looks so cute Okay, I will see you tomorrow for day number two. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.